In today's video, we are going to be talking about narcissists and sociopaths, aversion and deep-seated fear of intimacy. And I'm not talking about just sex, guys, okay? We all know that narcissists and sociopaths have a lot of sex. And many narcissists, specifically the somatic narcissists, are usually able to obtain a high level of sexual chemistry and appeal with their partner. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about genuine intimacy. Yes, sex is usually a part of that, but it's certainly not the only thing. I'm talking about a deep connection. Real intimacy requires both parties to be vulnerable with one another, and it scares the pants off of narcissists and sociopaths. They usually will try to avoid it like the plague, and they truly don't really even understand what it is. To a large degree, I think it baffles the majority of narcissists and sociopaths, and today I'm going to try and explain why that is. But first, if you're new to my channel, I'd like to take a moment and welcome you and invite you to please subscribe and be sure and hit that notification bell because I put out new videos every week. Also, if you are interested in private one-on-one -on -one narcissistic abuse recovery coaching with me, please visit my website. It's linked in the description below. So today we are talking about narcissists and sociopaths and intimacy real genuine intimacy and why it terrifies narcissists and sociopaths. And again, we're not simply talking about a sexual connection. That is part of it usually, but we are talking about a profound connection that extends beyond the physical. And people with narcissistic personality disorder and antisocial personality disorder are terrified of it. And the first reason they are is because narcissists and sociopaths typically view others primarily as tools for their own gratification rather than independent individuals with their own needs and desires. This objectification will hinder the development of genuine intimacy because in the world of narcissists and sociopaths, relationships are often transactional. Others are seen as a means to an end, a tool for the narcissist or the sociopath's own satisfaction. This utilitarian perspective doesn't allow for the recognition of the other person's autonomy and uniqueness. Genuine intimacy requires acknowledging and respecting the individuality of the partner, something that conflicts completely with the narcissistic and sociopathic worldview. As a result, they will significantly struggle to engage in a meaningful and reciprocal connections that go beyond serving their immediate needs. Next, in our exploration of why narcissists and sociopaths are terrified of genuine intimacy, the second reason stems from their obsession with control. These individuals are fixated on maintaining soul control in their relationships, and the very essence of intimacy involves sharing power and control within, within a relationship. For narcissists and sociopaths, the idea of sharing or, God forbid, relinquishing control to another person is foreign and completely uncomfortable. It challenges their fundamental need for dominance, which prevents the development of genuine intimacy. Control is a cornerstone in the world of narcissists and sociopaths. They thrive on being the orchestrators of their relationships, dictating the terms and maintaining an underlying grip on the power dynamics. Genuine intimacy requires a level of vulnerability and shared decision-making that these personalities find beyond unsettling. The prospect of relinquishing control challenges the very core identity and the need for dominance that often underlies their behavior. This aversion to sharing control becomes a massive barrier to the development of authentic mutual connections i.e. genuine intimacy. Moving on to the third reason why genuine intimacy terrifies narcissists and sociopaths is their deep-seated anxieties around inadequacy, believe it or not. Most of us do not think that feelings of inadequacy would have anything to do with how these people make decisions. However, beneath the facade of grandiosity lies a fragile sense of self 
for narcissists and sociopaths. The vulnerability inherent in intimacy has the potential to unearth their core feelings of inadequacy. So confronting these anxieties becomes deeply uncomfortable, which will usually prompt an instinctive avoidance of situations that may bring these feelings and anxieties to the forefront. The fear of being confronted with their perceived inadequacies becomes a powerful deterrent, hindering their ability to engage in genuine intimate connections. Next, another huge reason that they are so deeply troubled and uncomfortable with intimacy is because usually the only relationships they've ever had have been incredibly shallow. Shallow connections, superficial connections, are the only relationships that they seek, desire, or comprehend. You have to understand they are seeking relationships where they receive ad adoration and attention, but they are extremely uncomfortable and usually unwilling to be put into a position where they themselves are required to reciprocate that admiration and attention. They truly believe those things should be reserved for people like them and anyone who indicates they would like that in return as well isn't only not going to go over well with, with people like them, but most times they would view that as ridiculous, absurd, irrational, and a complete waste of their time. The fifth reason intimacy scares the hell out of narcissists and sociopaths is because they have a deep aversion and fear of dependency on anyone. These people want to believe that they are completely self-sufficient and in complete control of their lives. And obviously, to achieve genuine intimacy with another person, that would require them to be vulnerable, to be honest and open about their fears, their desires, their vulnerabilities. And that would trigger the insecurities of the true self buried deep within and all the feelings that come with that. Um, that is the one thing they fight every single day to repel by obtaining narcissistic supply, which feeds and fuels the false self, the self that believes they are special, unique, and superior. So because becoming intimate with someone would unearth those feelings and beliefs, trust me when I tell you, they will do just about anything to avoid those feelings. Next in our exploration of why narcissists and sociopaths fear genuine intimacy is the fourth reason, the requirement for authenticity and transparency. For individuals who meticulously construct and maintain a facade of perfection, the idea of revealing their true selves is nothing short of terrifying. The illusion of perfection is a lifeline for them, and anything that could jeopardize or expose them as anything other than perfect and superior triggers an absolute panic and repulsion. Authenticity and transparency are the pillars of genuine intimacy, demanding a level of honesty and openness that conflicts with the narcissistic persona. For narcissists, meticulously crafting and preserving an image of perfection is paramount. This facade serves as a constant source of support and validation for their desired self-image. So the prospect of anything jeopardizing this illusion, potentially exposing them as imperfect or vulnerable, elicits a deep-seated loathing and repugnance. This fear can stop them dead in their tracks, preventing them from engaging in the authenticity and transparency required for meaningful intimate connections. The seventh reason we are going to talk about is because narcissists and sociopaths have extreme difficulty trusting other people, even people they are in a long-term relationship with. So obviously, to achieve a genuinely intimate relationship, that would require them to completely and totally trust and respect the other person. 
Narcissists and sociopaths do not trust other people very easily at all. And their ability to actually respect people, other people, is even more difficult and rare. Specifically, if it's someone they're in a romantic relationship with. If they respected their partners, they would be unable to abuse them. And we all know that narcissists and sociopaths are extremely abusive to their partners. Another important, important point to make here is narcissists and sociopaths are famous for projecting who they are and the things they're guilty of doing onto their partner. It's called projection and they all do it. And they are acutely aware that they themselves are not people who should be trusted. So therefore, they don't believe you are worthy of being trusted either. They are incredibly paranoid people, and they tend to believe that other people are as exploitative and deceitful as they are, even their spouses or partners. And you cannot truly have an intimate relationship with anyone without trust and respect. Fear of rejection is the eighth reason that narcissists and sociopaths deeply fear true intimacy. Despite their outward confidence, these individuals harbor a strong fear of rejection and abandonment from deep, deep, deep within. The closeness of an intimate relationship raises the stakes, intensifying the perceived threat of rejection. The fear of rejection is an incredible force in the psyche of narcissists and sociopaths. So despite their external display of confidence, the idea of being rejected or abandoned strikes at the core of their insecurities. And in an intimate relationship, the stakes are much higher and the perceived threat of rejection becomes more intense. This fear becomes a huge roadblock for people like this, preventing them from fully engaging in genuine, genuine intimacy where the risk of rejection is inherently present. Next, narcissists and sociopaths are drastically limited in their ability to feel empathy for other people. Empathy is crucial for understanding and connecting with others on an emotional level. So in order to truly be intimate in an intimate relationship, feeling and caring about the needs or desires of your partner is a requirement, plain and simple. If they hurt, if they feel scared or vulnerable or sad, whatever emotion someone might be feeling, that person they're in an intimate relationship with would have to care. And for the most part, narcissists and sociopaths, their ability to care about their partner in this way is outside of their abilities and capacity. And it simply just does not matter to them enough to achieve gen genuine intimacy. And finally, the 10th reason why genuine intimacy remains elusive is their relentless pursuit of feelings of superiority. These individuals crave and thrive on the notion of being superior, even within their closest relationships. Intimacy, however, requires recognizing the other person, uh, the humanity of the other person. For narcissists, this presents a massive challenge because it clashes with their deep-seated desire for superiority. The very idea of acknowledging and valuing the emotions and needs of their partner becomes insurmountable hurdle. The need to maintain an elevated sense of self prevents them from fully embracing the reciprocal nature and equality essential for genuine intimacy. Therefore, the fear of relinquishing their perceived superiority usually stops them dead in their tracks and abandoning those beliefs is a necessity for a truly intimate relationship with anyone. All right, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Also follow me on my other social media platforms. The links are in the description below. Thanks for watching everyone.